Stayallday.com. Here, I'm just going to use this uh, prop defensive player right here, as I talked about a little bit ago. I don't really use props that often, but since sometimes people like the visual cue, the prop was available. I'm going to just use this prop to do some little floater, one foot floater slash runners over top of a defender. So if you have a situation like this in the game, it can happen sometimes when you got a defender standing in the paint. And people, you know, a lot of people take charges nowadays. They might not even try to block your shot, they'll just try to take a charge. So when you shoot a shot like this, you got to control your momentum. You don't want to be rushing forward so much that when after you release that shot, you land right on top of that guy, you get called for a charge, and then your great shot is erased. And you end up getting called for an offensive foul, which is actually a turnover in the stat sheet. You don't want to do that. You got to be able to control your body. So as I'm doing in the right, I'm going to do the same thing in the left. Stepping left foot, then right foot, then releasing that shot with the left hand. So for all you players, no matter which hand is your dominant hand, if you want your weak hand to be good, shooting shots within eight feet of the basket, there's no secret to it. There's no magic trick. You just got to take some time and work on taking those shots. Work on taking those shots. Go slowly if you need to. A lot of young players think every drill they got to do got to be at 100 miles per hour speed, and that's incorrect. You got to get it right first, then do it fast. Get the footwork right. Get the handles right. Get the technique right. Make sure you're not committing any violations with the movements you're doing, and then you add speed once you know exactly what you're doing and you're doing it right. Thumbs up to like this drill. You got questions, leave them in the comments. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Work on your gang.